Welcome to this module on setting personal goals and KPIs. Really just a, uh, a short module on setting objectives and measures. I find that lots of people struggle with setting personal goals a, in business, setting business goals, but also personal goals and KPIs. And I think one of the reasons is they make it too complex. So let's just, let's just go through some simple frameworks. So the first simple framework is just how we set it up and how we structure it. And I like this really simple structure of we have an objective, so we have an overarching objective. Um, I'll show you an example in a minute. For each objective, then we come up with a number of measures. It could be three measures, four measures, one measure, two measures, whatever. And then for those measures, we require targets. So um, my example here is if we, it's a personal one, if we want to improve fitness, some of the measures of our fitness might be a bleep test, which measures your, your, your level of fitness. Okay, so, um, and then from that I've set, you know, some targets. So now we're at um, six and six, um, but in one year we'd want to be at eight and eight. And you might want to look up bleep test to work out what that means, but um, you get the thing. So weight, you might say I'm now 95 kilograms, and I'd like in six months' time I'd like to be back to 85 kilos, and then maintain that. And another measure of fitness is then body fat. So um, not only do I want to reduce, lose my weight, but more importantly, I want to get my body fat percentage down. Currently at 24%. Six months time, I'd like that to be 18%. And then uh, in 12 months time, 15%. So you can see how we've sort of layered that. So they're all measures that help you determine whether you're actually improving your fitness or not. So that's the first thing. Brainstorm the... Uh, the objectives you want to get and then from that create some measures now where do you get your objectives from we're talking about personal and possibly some business goals here but let's say in a in a personal situation i would use something like the life balance model which has been part of some of the other training that that we've done and um and use it so you might set some you know use each of these areas as areas in your life where you'd like to set some objectives so the life balance you know models talks about family social which is friends and colleagues and those sorts of things personal finance your philosophy and spiritual um, nature your mental which is your your mental well-being and also but your, your mental personal development um, and then your health health and fitness so you know, in the example here, I've chosen one objective around health, but but you might want to pick some other objectives in that space. So it's a really good model where you don't have to have an objective for each area. Pick the ones that are most important to you, um, but it's a good place to get your objectives from. Okay, and then you just create a simple statement. You know, improve my fitness, spend more time with my family, you know, develop an investment portfolio. If you remember back to the one page, the personal one page plan model. Okay, so do those. Use those as objectives, um, as a framework, sorry, to help you make objectives. In the business area, I tend to use this balanced scorecard. So this is out of work by Kaplan and Norton called the balanced scorecard. And basically the model says, you know, if we've got good people uh, and systems driving good processes in our businesses, those processes make our, our customers happy. Happy customers give us money and then the process goes on. So that's a sort of balanced scorecard. Now you can use those four areas to set yourself objectives for your business and then break those down. So you might look at your role and say, okay, really I'm just focused in that customer space and maybe pull some customer objectives out, all right, to build into your, into your framework. All right, so remember, use a simple framework, objectives, measures, and targets. And, uh, and then to do that, you know, we've given you a worksheet, so download the worksheet here. Um, it's just really simple. So the, the area is, you know, the area that you'd like to work in, let's say it's health. The objective is improve my fitness. And then we went through some measures and some, and some targets there. Now I've given you space to put a couple in here and there, but um, you can expand on this model as much as you like. Okay, so really simple concept. Um, all right, so once you get that framework mapped out, sometimes it's a good idea to say, okay, that's where I'm going longer term. So you might have targets over, you know, one, two, three, four years, but you might say, okay, let's pull out and let's set a key performance indicator for the next 12 months. So um, so what I like to do there is just use this uh, this structure here. It's called VQTQ. It's a great way of creating a, a key performance indicator or, or measure. And basically VQTQ stands for, you know, the bottom left-hand side there says for verb, quantity, time frame, quality. Okay, so you create a simple statement. So, so convert 
some of your, your, your guess your measures and targets into a simple statement. So, um, you know, the example I've got here is I want to weigh 85 kilograms by the 30th of June at 18% body fat. Okay, so verb is weigh, quantity is 85 kilograms, time frame is by 30 June at 80% body fat is the quality measure. Okay, now sometimes you won't have a quality measure or a quantity, you know, you may have one of the cues, that's okay, it just might be weigh 85 kilos by 30 June, that's okay, or it could be be at 18% body fat by 30 June, your choice, but um, sometimes they're more powerful if you combine them because just weighing 85 kilograms by itself may not be enough, you actually may want to get your body fat down, alright, so that's the model for setting some personal goals. Just take that model, apply it to the work you've been doing, set some goals for yourself and then build those into your one page plan. Okay. If you've got any questions, just email me or pick up the phone. Happy to talk to you about it and um, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.